Thanks to Greg at EgoSoft for providing me with the keys to the X4 Tides of Avarice, Cradle of Humanity, and Split Vendetta Expansions. Hey, Rena. Yeah, we'll move the fleet up to you, and I will get with you on further instructions. We'll see you in a bit. Hey, Ava, just got the news. Uh, we're moving down toward Imperial Ascendancy space. I believe the New Republic is going to try to make some moves, and they requested the whole fleet. Uh, so we'll be moving down south shortly. Keep the ship ready to go just in case we get jumped. We're going to need to get out of there quick. So keep the engines on, will ya? Captain Caravella, new orders from the New Republic. We are heading down south to support the Imperial Ascendancy push, so let's move the fleet out. Yeah, and I know this thing doesn't turn on a dime, just make your best possible speed. I'm going to go ahead and uh, speak to Rena about exactly what she wants us to do. And uh, yeah, get, get those weapons hot. All right, we are on our way. All right, Ava, let's get to Dinan ahead of the fleet, and uh, we'll get our orders. You know, if I had to make a guess, they're going to be pushing Chardan pretty hard. The Imperial Ascendancy, it was trying to build a defense platform in there, and the New Republic is not going to stand for that. Last time we were there, there was a few Star Destroyers, so hopefully our fighters and our fleet can make short work of them. Okay, Ava, in Dinan, I believe the defense platform is straight ahead that we're going to be meeting Rena on. Go ahead and get docking clearance, and let's see what they have for us. Hey, Rena, long time no see. Do you have something for me? Pilot? Oh, not asking for much, huh? Destroying an Ascendancy equipment dock in Kuat, huh? Well, we'll get on that uh, as soon as we can. I'm not sure if we have the forces needed for that, but for now, we will go ahead and patrol down south. I already have the fleet moving into Chardan, so uh, we'll, we'll provide support as we can. Ava, our next stop is to get back to that defense platform that Ula is staying at so we can support uh, the engagements down there. Ascendancy TIE Fighter getting lit up right at the gate. One factory was already destroyed, but once we get done talking to Eula, we're going to move on that defense platform, hopefully before it has too many extensions on it that will make it really lethal. Eula, I brought the fleet. Alright, got it. Yeah, looks like the Dreadnought needs some Good assistance, but uh, we're going to focus on that defense platform, don't you worry. Alright, Ava, you stay here where it is safe. If uh, things kick off, I will be back and we will get out of here but we'll be moving in on that platform, so keep the engines running. Captain Caravella, let's see what this Lark can do. Your target, the Imperial Ascendancy Defense Platform. All right, looks like TIE Fighter Ascendancy and the Builder. We might be able to sneak the Builder. The Nebula is already there. And, and firing on that defense platform and is holding station. Once the victory and the spear get in, I think we'll be sitting a lot better. We also have support from a New Republic patrol dreadnought and some fighters. Captain Caravel, that is an excellent view. So far, so good. They're not pushing back on us at all. All right, New Republic has uh, saw what we're doing here, moving in all of the fighters as well. All right, that's one section destroyed already. Keep firing, everything is looking good. All right, Captain Caravella, the Ascendancy. 
almost knows that we are not on their side, especially after this assault, so it's only going to be a matter of time before fighters need to be launched. Captain Caravelle, launch all fighters. Spear, keep dropping those broadsides. That is outstanding. All right, the Imperial Ascendancy knows that we are no longer on their side. Victory Group moved to wipe out those last few remaining Ascendancy TIE Fighters, but it looks like the New Republic has it covered. And as they're cleaning up, fighters are coming aboard. Should only be a matter of time before this area of space is uh, secure, at least. Oh crap, this is Sokka. Go ahead and get back aboard the Victory, and we will get our next target on the board. And while we're here, let's get all of this dropped cargo. Hopefully, we can get some sort of profitable um, drops from here. Fighters moving in to take care of the uh, TIE fighters that are coming in. Cypher, get back aboard and get that X-Wing repaired. Just a few more TIE fighters to go. Fighters are swarming. We even have the Nebula attacking as well. All right, all fighters come back. A successful first push. And looking further afield, there's one Starfighter, or uh, TIE Defender and a factory that has not been fully stood up yet. Phoenix, we won't need a builder here, so go ahead and repair what you've got. 65,000 credits. We'll make that back for this initial push that we've got. As for the victory group, there is a factory there that is left. Trying to stand up. Let's do what we can with it. Captain Caravella, if you please. And the Nebula is jumping, uh, jumping ahead, and there is a lot of TIE Fighter activity. New Republic is trying to hold it down, but we definitely need to support, but New Republic is sending in a pair of Dreadnoughts as well. Spear is jumping ahead. That's a good sign. I believe if the uh, Spear can help uh, fighter support, that would be great. It looks like fighters are joining. Caveman, Grumpy, Legionnaire is jumping in. Knight. All right, Captain Caravella, there is their factory standing up. Let's make sure that they uh, remember that we're here, eh? Knight, if you please, we need you back on board and repair up that A-wing. Blaze, same for you. Get out of there, man. All right, Victory Group, attack all targets in range. Oh, ISD-1 coming in. Captain Caravella, you be extremely careful with that Star Destroyer, you hear me? We need the spear to come in and assist, please. So far, so good, but I don't like getting on the broad side of that Star Destroyer. One fighter down, an X-Wing werewolf. All craft, we've broken through their shields. Keep pounding it, don't let it go. Oh good, Spear is here and lowering the boom as well from a distance. Victory taking the brunt of the force. Star Destroyer down one quarter hull. Torpedoes on target, Nebula providing fire as well. Star Destroyer is almost gone, our shields are almost gone. A costly endeavor for sure. Scipio is down, but the spear bringing up the rear. And one engine is down on that Star Destroyer. Outstanding. All craft, get out of there. That Star Destroyer is going up. Star Destroyer down. Outstanding. Captain Caravella, I will take over and pull in all of the drops here. Container. Container. Looks like an energy trader was destroyed all the way out there. Captain Caravella, if you please head back to this defense platform and let's get a, a grip on exactly what exactly happened here. Fighters coming in. We didn't take any hull damage. Shields are charging. How about the spear? 100 everywhere. How about the nebula? 
Just shield damage, no hull, that's what I like to see. And it looks like we lost three fighters. One X-Wing, Werewolf, one B-Wing, Scipio, and one A-Wing, Paladin. Looks like an Acclimator is jumping in. Miss Caravella, don't really worry about them. Uh, they are not our concern, but if you can lower the boom, then uh, more power to you. All right, Miss Caravella here is fine. Let's get all the fighters on board, assess our situation, repair any turrets that may have been damaged, and then uh, report back in to Eula to tell him the good news. All right, from the look of it, we have six damaged turrets that need to be repaired. Captain Caravelle, I'll go ahead and take care of that, uh, as well as the service crew. We can go ahead and uh, work on those. I'll be right back. All right, first turret, 71% on the hull. Shouldn't take too awful long to get this thing repaired. And Kuat done. Let's find the next turret that needs some work. Oh, wow, that uh, medium Kuat on our top took a beating, 39%. Yeah, it's actually a tad on fire. Uh oh, fighters are launching. That can't be a good sign. Let me get back aboard. Who are we attacking now? Alright, absolutely nobody. So maybe a transport flew through and all the fighters launched, but that gives us a good look at uh, who needs to be repaired, by the by. Alright, this Kua here at 86% shouldn't take too awful long. This Ion Ball definitely took a beating, 32%. Tell you what, this ion cannon must have a lot of hull to it. Wow, that took forever. And one thing about repairing on the outside is the ships are docking up, the pilots are flying by and landing. Hopefully they don't smack into me. And we'll just top off this turbo laser. Only a few turbo lasers to go. A few took light damage, one took some pretty heavy damage. So the Star Destroyer must have been aiming right on our bottom side, right by those docking ports. Yeah, the three turbo lasers right in a row on the underbelly here took the most damage. And that is topped off, so I believe the victory is good to go. We will double check. Yes, indeed. Victory is topped off. No repair orders. A successful engagement minus our three losses, which, yeah, that, that reminds me. Ugh. This is the worst part about coming back to an active war. Fly safe, guys. Hey, Ava, I don't know if you saw, but that was a successful engagement. We, we made it with very minimal losses and even took out one of their Star Destroyers, but the Ascendancy knows exactly what's going on now, so if you see any Ascendancy ships, you turn far away from them. Got it? But destroying those fighters and that Star Destroyer and those two stations, I hope, Eula compensates us for those stations. I guess we will see. All right, Eula, I would say that was a successful engagement. Would you agree? Uh, let's see. Killed TIE Striker, Advance, and Defender. TIE Interceptors, but they did not count the Star Destroyer. But uh, yeah, that those engagement bonuses. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame you didn't see me destroy that Star Destroyer. We would have got paid a lot, but 1.2 million credits? I'm uh, not opposed to that. Good luck out there. So the Rebel Wharf in Hosean Prime is just a few jumps away, uh, much closer than Coruscant. Let's actually place an order for some replacement ships and pilots from the Rebels. And one X-Wing and one A-Wing uses up two-thirds of our finances, but it is, uh, it's got to be worth it. And then the one downside it looks like is we actually do not have the goods at the Rebel Wharf needed to even construct the ships. Yeah, the station itself is short Durasteel plates. I wonder, did we happen to pick up any Durasteel plates here on the Victory? Yes, indeed. 1,830 Durasteel plates, 9,000 energy cells, 347 module prefabs, and 83 advanced electronics. 
In the meantime, how would you guys like to head on over to the Rebel Wharf and sell some goods? Yeah, we can make 759,000 credits by doing that and still have some goods left over, so... Yeah, Captain Caravella, if you please, uh, head on over to Hosnian Prime, we'll wait for you here, and uh, sell those goods. I know this isn't what you're normally used to doing, but it is absolutely imperative that we get our fleet back up to full, and uh, you, the things you've picked up can help us do that, so thank you. All right, Ava, I'm hitting the hay. Long day, successful day, and uh, yeah, I think this will be our home away from home for a little bit, this defense platform. It seems like everything will be kicking off here. Yeah, it looks like we picked up a programmable field array as well. It's a little bit of money, but yeah, can't look a gift horse in the mouth if they're going to drop those things. But we will see what the Ascendancy War has in store for us at a later time. This may be uh, the last time I talk to you for a bit, but you know, I, I have a feeling we'll be back and, and better than ever. So uh, I'll see you when I see you.